Well, here we are, folks, for another session of Time Flies with D.L. Goddard. As you might guess, I'm D.L. Goddard. What we're going to talk about today is the design process and actually tie these flies and explain why we're doing what we're doing. Uh, I use two methods for designing flies. One is a bait specific. In other words, we're going to tie a shrimp or we're going to tie a crab or we're going to tie a fish of some type, a bait type fish. And that's that's generally most how everybody really ties a fly. They'll sit down. The other method is we sort of wing it. We're, it's a material specific rather than a bait specific. We'll take a, a very specific material like crystal flash chenille and we'll see what we can do with it. What's, what can we come up with? How is this going to happen? So why don't we start out with a bait specific and talk about that. <clears throat> There's a lot of things that we need to do before we ever tie the first fly. The first is a study process where you have to know what you're going to do before you ever pick out a hook or any materials that you're going to use. Uh, what do you want this fly to do? Is it going to float? Is it going to sink? Is it going to be an intermediate type fly where it will suspend in the water column at some specific point? In order to make that happen, you need to know what your materials are and how they react in the water. Are we going to use weight? Are we going to use a lead wire? Are we going to use bead chain? Are we going to use a lead eye to make the bait get down in the water? <clears throat> There's other methods. Uh, when we're tying flies for, for tropical fishing on the flats and other areas also, most of the time we want that fly to ride hook point up. <clears throat> in order to make that happen, there's other ways of doing that than just weighting it on the top of the hook and have the weight actually turn the fly over. One is a bend back hook and we'll show you how we do that as we progress. The other is an eye turn down hook where you would actually turn the eye of the hook down as it's in the vise. And then when you turn it over, the eye is actually pointing up in the air to some degree, 60 degrees usually. And that will work really well to turn your flies over with no weight. The other is a rocker type, what I call a rocker hook shape. And it's actually the shape of a rocker on a chair. And it's just simply bending the hook, usually with a long shank hook. You can do it with short shank hooks, but it's more difficult. And we use a pair of pliers to do that. So we're going to start with a bait-specific fly. Let's talk about a shrimp fly, a real popular fly for a lot of different species of fish, bonefish, permit, tarpon, weak fish in the northern uh, hemisphere striped bass, everything eats shrimp, including me. So we're going to get into a, let's do a shrimp fly. We'll start out with a number one long shank hook. All we have to do is find it in this mess that we've got here today. This one's actually a number two, but it'll work just as well. You notice I've got all these hooks segregated by their size and make and number. And in this little hook box, same thing. It sure makes your tying a lot easier. Uh, another item that you really want on your tying bench is a magnet. Maybe you've never done it, but I've dropped a box of a thousand hooks on the floor. And I'm somewhat physically impaired with arthritis in the back and knees and everywhere else. And it's, it's really a problem to bend over and hunt around for every one of these little hooks. So you just drop a magnet down there on a string and it solves a host of problems. What we've got here is a rotary vise. This is, this is absolutely an essential piece of equipment for today's fly tire, especially in salt water, uh, using epoxy, if anything else, other types of substances. But it just makes your tying so much easier. This, this is a Renzetti Master. It's uh, rather expensive. It's around 600 bucks, but you don't certainly need this quality or this level of vice probably to get started. But if you can afford it, 